out of this world. The countdown to the Chandrayaan 3 uh, is underway. ISRO has released fresh visuals in the early hours today at the SDSC SHAR. The movement specifics are coming in about the movement of the LV M3 M4 vehicle with the Chandrayaan 3 to the launch pad that has commenced. Now remember, this mission will focus on carrying scientific instruments to the moon. We're crossing over to CNN News 18's Harish Apadia to get us more on this. Harish, over to you. Well, this is a crucial phase in uh, in uh, India's ambitious Chandrayaan 3 uh, mission. Remember, uh, this is launch vehicle Mark 3, uh, Mark 4, which is uh, now being put uh, on the launch pad. And uh, perhaps now it will be ISRO's decision on when they want to carry out this launch. Uh, the tentative time is uh, around 12th or 13th, although the window is there till uh, the 19th of this month. But sources in ISRO indicating that they would like to have this launch on the 12th or 13th of this month. Remember, in 2019, uh, India had attempted a similar mission, uh, but because of uh, technical issues, uh, the lander couldn't uh, land. Uh, the soft landing wasn't possible. Uh, the lander, in fact, crashed on the surface of Moon, and uh, that mission became a failure. Although, although the orbiter successfully did its job, uh, this time round, ISRO hoping that uh, the lessons that they have learned from 2019, the Chandrayaan 2 mission, uh, has been uh, taken into account. Uh, that has already changed several aspects of this entire mission, whether it's uh, ensuring that uh, the legs of the lander uh, has uh, is uh, strengthened. The rover too has got a few changes. And ISRO saying that uh, we've gone through all that went wrong in the last mission. We are prepared this time around. And uh, they are hoping that uh, 45 days from this mission, uh, mission uh, getting launched, uh, they will be able to do a soft landing on the surface of the moon. It will be a humongous achievement for uh, ISRO. Uh, it will demonstrate its capability uh, to go for, an, for a soft landing on uh, any celestial body. And then also they will have to show that they are capable enough of moving around to hit the moon and carry out the experiment and bring in some uh, scientific insights on uh, the moon and its environment, the topography there and soil and other aspects uh, that the uh, ISRO hopes that it can do in the coming few months. Absolutely. Harish, thank you so much for joining us and bringing us those very interesting details about Chandrayaan 3's